Uh, hello folks, this is a Black Rizzo and this is part of my branching out uh, series towards a different manga. And this is Bleach uh, 649 called The Theater of Suicide Scene Part 3. Now, in the, um, at the end of the chapter, it ends with, with this man who drags the guy into the sea and starts to figure out uh, which which is the other uh, oh shit which either uh, life points will run out I don't get how this works in a bleach world but it starts with uh, both guys in the sea it's deep and heavy with the uh, it says it's deep and heavy with the water pressure rising up and the guy who is damaged uh, by The guy who is damaged by um fuck man. And the guy who was damaged by the guy's previous attacks, uh, he was still receiving more damage from the pressure. Now he's receiving eye he was receiving blood out of his eyes, and he's really getting crushed by the uh, water pressure. And then something happens. And there's a huge uh, crack, I believe, judging from the uh, world placements. There's still blood uh, and come out of this guy. Now there's blood coming out of his nose. He expands his wings, I, I believe, try to get. And there's not even more blood. And he says that, how could this be? Uh, yeah, he, he apparently he's flapping his wings in order to... Uh, I rise up, but that doesn't work. He thinks to himself, no matter how much I flap my wings, I just keep moving further and further away from the surface. And the man who's doing this says, well, of course. He said, while using his bankai, he said that this is technically throwing ourselves into the water, you know. It's too late to be flapping now. And then the same guy says, but then again, I, w I would understand why you do something like that. And he also says, after all, they do say that the moment you hit cold water, your resolution goes down along with your temperature. And he also says that just be, being re just, just being selfish, though, there's a limit to how shameful one can get. A man makes a promise but doesn't keep it, and a woman that couldn't forget her love for him. Isn't that what it was? And there's a text on the side that says, the yearning to be loved finally becomes a single voice. And there is this, uh, so, uh, somebody or something that's hugging the man that was do, using his bank card. And he says, Sakura Ranosuke. And this man said, it's been too long, Ohana. And apparently that's the girl that's hugging the same guy. He says, and she says, Ohana, someone's getting over familiar. Rich coming from my master only comes to play whenever he feels like it. And he said, oh, come on, don't be so cold. Forgive me, Ohana. And he says, oh, look, your kimono's all torn up. And she said, well, this is what happens when you walk around wearing something that belongs to another woman. How unslightly. How unsightly. And this man says, you're pretty mean as usual. And she says, I might be mean, but I'm still your sword. I take an every wing and fancy of yours. And have sworn to be by your side until the end. No? And a guy who is even most of the damage asks, who are you talking to? There's the panel of the man. And the same guy said, did you, did, you, did you really think that you won this and that you could kill me? There's a panel of him, I think, running away or something. And the guy starts to get a little bit angry. He says that as if something like a Shingami's Bankai could kill me. And he's getting ready to charge at the man. And the guy the guy with, with all hands said, Pulls out two of his swords. He said, The cruelty of a woman's love that goes unknown to a man. And what shines at the end of the tunnel is the white thread that symbolizes the regret. The least I can do f for you is to cut that thread, that unsightly regret circling around you. 
This will be the end, the last stage. Then he says, thread cutting scissors on a bloody uh, throat. And he apparently uh, used some kind of cutting attack which uh, slices the guy. And it's one, it's one big ass page. And he is, there's a shot of his face up close. And there's blood spots all over his face. What the heck? And he makes a, a funky face while something uh, below his neck get while a bubble below his neck gets larger. It's kind of fun, funny. It remind, reminds me of Dragon Ball Z, whereas like whenever Goku and Gohan defeated Frieza and Cell, they usually make a funky face like ah! before they uh, die, and that's what the same guy did. Now this is a huge explosion or some kind of implosion. And I think there's no, there's no, no, there's no body with him. There's no body of him. And the guy with the wings falls deep. There's a, sh there's a shot of a guy looking at him. And the same guy who was using bad guy apparently is um, coughing up blood as well. And some girl lays her hands out. It turns out to be all had a and he says, oh? And he says, to think I get, that I get the chance to sleep on your lap. But Kanye wants it in my while might be good, huh? And the girl, there's something funky. And the same person says, whoa. And he said, it was a joke. This is the only eye I have left, you know? And Ohana says, hmm, we look the same and are uh, both so strange. And she says, but either way, at least we're one. And the same person says, oh, what's wrong? You've been very dark style today. And she says, oh, shush already. And the same person says, oh, Hana, I. And there's some sort of uh, uh, horizontal blast. No, um, vertical blast that comes out of him. And something happens to him. Ohana is shocked along with the same person. Some blast comes out of him. And the same person says, and somebody, no, and the different person says, I told you so, I told you so. Uh, it turns out the same guy at, at camp comes back. He says, Ashin Gami's Bankai is it something that could kill me, a messenger of God. And that's how that's the end of uh, Bleach 649. Sorry, that was a good chapter.